Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Luminar AI's matte tool to create a contrasty matte finish photo. Hello and welcome to Luminar Coffee Break. I'm Angela Andrew and today we're going to be talking about how to create a high contrast matte finish photo using Luminar AI's matte tool. Let me go ahead and switch my screen and we will get started. As we go along, if you have any questions, make sure you pop those into the chat pod and I'll do my best to get those answered for you as we go along. All right, so we've got a great photo of the model Claudia up on the screen. This is a photo from Javier Pardina, one of our ambassadors. And I'm gonna start with a template, go down to the close-ups category and use one of my favorites here called Brush Up. It just does a nice job with just about any portrait of automatically improving the image by a variety of factors. So let's go ahead and take a look here quickly at the before and the after. Now let's switch over to the edit tab and make a few changes. I'm going to go straight here to our light tool. There are quite a lot of blown out highlights here on her face, so I want to tone down those highlights. I'm going to pull the highlight slider to the left and just darken down some of those brightest portions. And you can see how that brings back some really nice detail in her skin. I'm also going to scroll down to our portrait tools and make a couple of very quick adjustments here under face AI. I'm going to go into the eyes section and if we zoom in here, we can see that she has brown eyes, but they're very, very dark. So one of the things that I like to do to brighten up eyes is to use the iris eye color changer and change it to the same color of eye that the person has. And look at how that brightens up her eyes. Now, obviously it's a little bit unnatural right now, so I'm gonna back that off so it blends a little bit more seamlessly, but we get a bit of additional sparkle in her eyes. And I'm also gonna scroll down to the mouth section and I'm gonna add a little bit of lip redness here and a little bit of lips darkening just to give her face a little bit of extra definition. I'm also gonna go down into Skin AI and pull up that shine removal just to make sure her skin looks absolutely flawless. You see, we still have texture and detail, but it's really made her look her best. We can take a quick look here at the before and the after. So this is a really, really nice image that we have to work with here. Now to go ahead and stylize this image, I wanna put the matte tool to use. And this is a tool we don't often use, but it's very powerful and it has some really cool effects. I'm gonna go ahead and expand this section for color toning so we have all of the tools here right at our fingertips and we can see what they do. I'm gonna begin by pulling up the amount slider fairly high. And typically when I do this, I usually will pull it back at the end, but I pull it up high so I can see the effect really dramatically on the image and then I can adjust the amount once I get all of the other settings dialed in. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of fade. This is going to fade some of those details and colors. I'm gonna keep that relatively low. We can adjust the contrast. I'm gonna add back in a little bit of extra contrast here. And we can adjust the vividness. So the matte tool automatically desaturates a little bit. I'm gonna pull that back up and bring back some of that color. Now we can also tone this image. We have some color toning here so we can choose our range of colors. And you see as I come up the spectrum, it's adding more and more of that particular color. If you wanna change the color that it's adding, go ahead and bring that range up pretty high so you can really see it and move across that hue spectrum. And we can see how those different colors are affecting our image. And you can choose one that you think works well for the image. I think actually I like that there, but it's obviously a very, very strong effect. I'm gonna grab that range, pull that back a bit and pull this saturation here down. And this is going to tone down the amount of color that's hitting that image. That looks really good. Now that we have those other parameters set, we can go back to our amount slider and back this off to a point that we think looks natural. I think right about there looks amazing. Let's turn this off and then back on. And you can see the really nice effect that this tool was able to create with that bit of matte finish and just give it that a little bit, I like the like, you know, the reddish pink warmth that this brings in here. Again, here's the before in the after. Now one last thing I'm gonna do with this image to finish it off is add a big soft vignette. I'm gonna pull my out slider all the way down to negative 100. I might make that size a tiny bit smaller. Click into our advanced settings. We'll bring the feather up nice and high. That's gonna give us that smooth transition. And inner light I'm gonna leave alone because she's already really, really well lit. And I don't think she needs any extra light. From there I'm gonna grab my mount slider and pull that back to the point that I think it looks natural and really ties this entire image together. 
And there we have it. Let's take a look at our overall before and after. I mean, it's such a gorgeous image and she's a great model, but those few little creative touches that we made with the mat tool really, really bring this image to life. So there's the before and after. If you guys have any questions, make sure you pop them into the chat pod or into the comments below. Do my best to get those answered for you. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure you give us a thumbs up here on YouTube. Our producers love to see that. And with that, I want to wish you guys a great rest of your day. We'll see you on the next coffee break. Bye-bye.